Hi, my name is Sonia from Cosmic Harmony. I'm going to do a tarot reading for you today and see what messages want to come out. The way I understand reality to be is that our outer world is a reflection of our inner world. So with the tarot, we can look at what may be going on in the outer world around us and the current energy coming towards us, the people in our lives. And by looking at our reflection in those experiences and people, we can dive into our own subconscious which is creating our reality every moment. Becoming aware of our subconscious can help us be more apt to heal and discover who we really are and what we want to experience, making our creation more a more conscious experience. If you would like a personal reading, email me at the email address below and I will email you the rates. There is also information about my writings, stories, and world meditations down below if you'd like to donate to the channel there is a link down below for that and lastly i appreciate any likes shares and subscribes that helps the channel grow and get out there to more people thank you hello this is a tarot reading for the sign of capricorn and i pulled some oracle cards and some tarot cards and what I'm looking at is that um, it looks like you might have had some um, like some conflict with someone or just be generally unhappy and it could be in a relationship, it could be at a job or it could be just something within yourself. But what I'm showing is it's like um, you're... Almost like you're looking at someone and picking out all of the details, the things that you don't like about this person or looking at all the things you don't like about a job or any situation that you're in and you're dreaming of something better, like you want to leave for something better. And let me show you. I got these, um, I got the camel, which is like, you're feeling, um, when it's reversed like that, it's like dehydration. So it's like a lack of being filled, basically emotionally filled. And the mouse, that's the nitpicky, looking at all the things, um, like that you don't like being unhappy with things probably because um, something or someone is not going how you want. And then this is like the lion is a like a healthy energy, but it's like being uh, strong, bossy, head of the household, a boss maybe at work or something like that. But with this energy of lack and like just looking for something wrong and what I'm showing is that it's gonna slow you down um, in your life basically uh, like being like that so I'll read the Oracle card at the end but the Oracle card is basically saying it's it's reminding you that you um, your thoughts and your level of Basically, your thoughts create your reality. And, like, if you are find things to be grateful for, like, you're more likely to get things that you're grateful for in your reality. So, you got, like, uh, the field of dreams. So, this is, like, you, you're dreaming of something specific you want, right? But with, it came out with a dry desert. So, like, whatever it is that you're dreaming of, it's, like, a mirage because, um what you what it what it uh what it's trying to get you to realize is that what you want is something that you already possess same with the mountain it's like it's you're gonna make it harder on yourself basically by um always thinking that you're lacking and you don't have what you want and and then we got heal the the ouch reversed and then uh ghostlands and what those two cards 
are basically telling me it's like you have um okay so like if if you're having conflict with someone it's it's um basically saying to make what you may have done whether it was in retaliation or whether the person deserved it or whatever it is um to make it right so if you need to apologize or whatever it is um basically a what i try and think of is if that person say like if it is a person did something wrong to you and then you retaliated in some way if you were to look at how you acted or what you did or what you said and took out the other person like that's just how you acted did or said is that something that's true to yourself is that the type of person that you are is that what you would do if you had nothing to blame however you acted or what you said or did on if not then that's something that's um basically causing conflict within yourself and so what these cards are suggesting is that you correct whatever thing that you did um even if say someone did something to you and then you did something back but it was less worse or whatever than what they did it doesn't matter you're not um it it's for you that you take care of whatever it was that you did that's not in alignment with who you really are and so that's what i'm seeing is like the message from those cards the oracle cards and when i look at your energy um, your current energy is showing that you want to escape. Um, your, your emotions are like out of control and you feel like that you're like, this isn't what I wanted. This isn't what I wanted. And, um, in the past we've got, and you might be dealing with a Pis Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, also, we've got Libra right here, but you feel like it's unfair and you're almost like cutting out your emotions, like trying to numb yourself to um, whatever it is that you're feeling is unfair. Um, and what I've got in... The future energy right now is it's showing like a lack of creation lack of creativity lack of abundance with the Empress reversed the Empress is also the card for Taurus and Libra I think sometimes um, but it's like this lack of abundance and it's due to like you refusing to transform and change your perspective. So that may be that you need to leave the situation that you're in, but it may not be like, but either way, it's like you need to transform yourself and your perspective before you can know what it is that you really need to do. Because I'm showing also, it's like, you're here you're still refusing to end the burdens. And um, because of that, it's like you're lacking love for self and lacking the ability to give love to other people. And um, I asked for what advice was for you, and I got... Okay, it's almost like someone might be trying to mother another person. And so if you are, like, it's basically saying to um, look at yourself. Because this is a lack of looking at yourself, too, the Hermit card. And um, the Hermit is a Virgo card. The Queen of Pentacles can be, well, it's Capricorn, but it can also be Hermit or Virgo or Taurus. 
and um, the other piece of, advi of advice that I'm showing This could literally, um, it could have to do with a Scorpio or a Gemini. Um, this message could literally say, um, stop placing judgment on a, a Gemini. Hold on. Or to stop judging others and um, offer love. It could also indicate a choice um, that you have to make. But either way, it's like until you start finding what you're looking within yourself and looking at the thoughts that you're thinking in the, and look in the mirror, it's like your, your judgments are going to be clouded on what you need to do. Um, I'm going to read the Oracle card for you. Hold on a second. Grab the book. Okay, and the card that you got is uh, what is already with you, okay? And it says, you hold in your hand that which you seek. In other words, the pair of spectacles you have been rummaging around the house for are sitting on top of your head. What are you seeking? Perhaps by exploring far and wide. Of course, there is unlimited creative potential and always something more that can be yet in this instance it is important for you to know that you have already what you need and what you want that doesn't mean in the it's the end of the story although it does ask you to give up the fantasy that a perfect solution lies in the future somewhere instead it asks you to acknowledge that everything necessary for success is with you now all you need to do is accept this and act with what you have available to you this is good news this particular chapter has a happy ending in store that ending will become real for you just as soon as you stop trying to skip forward into the next chapter. Better to be completely present in the now. From here, the next phase will naturally happen without force on your part. It might not seem like you have much to start with. Perhaps you feel that all you have is a small, simple choice to make. Perhaps a you have a song to begin, an email to send, a conversation to start, or a sketch to let loose, however small, it is enough to get the ball rolling. Don't make the mistake of believing that what you need is behind you, lies with another, or is yet to appear. You have all that you need to take the next step in your life. From And from that, all else will flow. And there is a sweetness to that. It is a small pleasure at first, but from, one from which greater pleasures can unfurl. This message is amplified if you have also drawn the oracle of every journey starts. I only drew one card, so. Um, this oracle co also comes with special guidance for you. You are more than ready than you think you are. You are prepared than you, more prepared than you realize. You don't need an entire army or of resources to move ahead. Although you may find that when you, um, uh, I lost my phone. Although you may find that when you do move, many resources suddenly become apparent. All that you need is a moment, is just one sweet act of nourishment. That is enough to take you out backwards, nostalgia or regret, and forwards into what is waiting for you now. Big, Be brave, dig deep within, and enjoy the sweet surrender. All right, so that's all I have for you, Capricorn. So if you like this video, please uh, like, share, and subscribe, and I'll see you next time. Thanks.